Yes, another oldie but a greatie tank top. I'm, I'm kind of reorganizing all my wardrobe again. So it's amazing when you find things that have been hidden away. <laughs> and this one I put on and I'm like, we're going to see if it fits. If it fits, I'll wear it. And it's a size smaller than I usually wear. So woohoo, right? I have lots of favorite colors. Purple is one of them. But anyway, let's get to Dear Bombshell. Enough of that. I've got it all written down here. So I've got 10 questions. If I have some time for bonus, we'll do some bonus. But this is the questions you all have posted in my inbox that they're burning questions for you and you want to know the answer to. So I will do my best. I'm trying to keep it light and upbeat. Before I start them, I will tell you about my day. I didn't have a thing to do with the SUV today. didn't have a thing to do with any um, rental company. Um, they are just a failure, and they're not going to get the money that they should have gotten, so it's on them. Anyway, um, the SUV is in the questions, but we're not going to get to those right now. Uh, today I mowed, and as we were mowing, uh, well, I have the honor of doing the push mower while he has the rider, right? So I'm push mowing, and the wheel just comes flying off like usual. Yours truly, you know, gets the blame for everything. Well, what'd you hit? Last time he hit a brick. You didn't see me say, well, you shouldn't have hit that brick, right? So anyway, um, we, we had took for like maybe 30 minutes to try and find a washer and a screw but he was really wanting to try and find this washer to go on there and we went through stuff downstairs in his toolbox we went out to the garage in his toolbox we went to his other toolbox in the shed I mean we went everywhere around the house trying to find little pieces to fix this thing finally we found it and he then gets mad at me for not knowing what size of wrench I needed to fix this thing. I'm like, hello, I'm not a guy. I don't know the parts of tools and all that stuff. But it ended up, I just brought him like a handful of wrenches. I said, pick out which one you wanted. Meanwhile, while I'm trying to hold the mower on its side, I pinched my fingers right through here. <sighs> but it is what it is. Could have been worse. I'm just grateful that it's fixed. Everything got mowed before the big downpour of rain that came. And I didn't have to water tonight. Thank you, Lord. That was a blessing in itself. We went to a couple of stores. Um, went to Aldi's and I got my red delicious apple. One of these times, I've got to face my fears and go on that road where the accident happened. Right now, I just cannot go down that road. Um, it's the road between Home Depot and Aldi's. Some would call it a back road. Um, but I can't bring myself to drive down that road yet. He let me drive tonight, so that was pretty awesome. His car drives like a brand new one. I mean, it's like really cool. And so, um, anyway, um, went to Dollar General, got a few things. And then um, in between somewhere, he got a lottery ticket. And um, then we went and got food. And his lotto ticket paid off so he went back to county market and uh, that was the night came home and that was the night anyway your 10 questions that you want to ask me possibly more but yes I have your relationship questions on this sheet of paper so take a deep seat it's gonna be fun first one funniest word that you know I'm gonna go with the Disney movie of Mary Poppins super califragilis expialidocious that that would probably be the funniest word that I know five words that descri describe me okay um, loyal faithful hopeful honest sometimes funny um, <laughs> I try to make life lighthearted and not look at the negative side anymore um, but there's times that I I do look at the wrong side of life too but I try not to uh, do you prefer writing in black or blue pen 
black. I, I just, it's easier to write with, and to me it means more, and people have a hard time reading the blue pen, so. Plus, these are always on sale at B&D, just saying. Uh, do you like ice in your drinks? Yes. There's a few people I know that don't like ice in their drinks, but I'm not one of them. If I have iced tea, there better be ice in my tea. And I'll, there better be free refills on that iced tea, too, because I love iced tea, but that's another story. Uh, do you address older people by their first name? That's a good question. Um, I would say it depends on the setting, depends on how well I know the older people, uh, how comfortable I am with them, um, but more or less I usually, I'm a friendly down to earth person and if I know their first name and we have that rapport of being able to talk to each other, then yeah, sometimes first name, but if not, I can, there's a reason I love unleashing Mr. Darcy and marrying Mr. Darcy. Although I think marrying Mr. Darcy needs a sequel to number three. In the second marrying Mr. Darcy on uh, Hallmark Channel, when she first greets him, she's like, Mr. Darcy, and he's like, Miss Scott. Uh, hello, you've been dating for how long and you're still calling each other that? No. That's too formal. Just saying. Uh, concerning your driving, oh dear Lord, do you think once you get your SUV back that you will be comfortable in driving it? I told you there would be some questions concerning the SUV. Um, we're having long talks right now, me and my family. Um, let me tell you what it's concerning, okay? Yes, it's my first SUV. Yes, it's the favorite color I always wanted. And yes, there's not that many miles. So the answer to that question should be, I would feel comfortable in driving it, right? However, if you look at its track record, and I know most of you will say all vehicles go to the shop at some point in, in their life. Okay, you win that argument. But however, this one has spent most of its time in the shop in the past few months. And now it's going to be going back to the shop as soon as it comes out of the body shop to go to my favorite place over here, you save auto and they're going to be doing my work on the brakes. Now, the last time I talked to the gentleman at you save, maybe I misunderstood him, but he said we would have to have two separate appointments for both brakes. And to me, that's more time in the shop. Just before this happened, it had its oil changed. It had a plug put in the right tire. So yes, I would be looking at tires in the near future. And okay, keep that running tab going. You see what I'm saying? It's a constant back in the shop. With them having such good deals at Chevrolet right now, and as much as I love this Equinox, I would not, I would say I have not taken it off the table of not trading. I know my car, next car payment is due this Friday, but at the same time, I'm having a hard time making a payment for something I don't get to spend time with, let alone drive. Yes, there's a lot of memories attached to that SUV. I would be lying if I said there wasn't. But with any car, there's always memories attached to it. However, when it's your first car, your first SUV, those are moments that you don't recapture and that they mean a lot as well. So again, on the fence concerning the SUV. And we're going to go back to that on number 11. I'm giving you guys a bonus question because somebody asked that earlier, but I had been avoiding it. So we'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, number seven, I feel like I've answered this one before. Have you ever seen a shooting star and did you wish on it? Yes, I have seen lots of shooting stars. Yes, I've made lots of wishes on them. Rarely, if ever, do they come true. Um, what is one thing you want to overcome or conquer? Well, I guess that's what I wanted to answer on this number, the next bonus question, but we'll, we'll take that. Um, 
there's lots of things that I want to overcome and conquer in my life. I think that if we don't want to overcome and conquer, that's when we truly stop living. Um, of course, overcoming means you're able to say that you've conquered it. So um, I want to be able to get in the SUV, feel safe enough not only to drive it, but feel safe enough to go down the road that the accident happened on and be able to conquer that. I think that's something major because to me, I keep having flashbacks of the accident, seeing his truck coming for the SUV, okay? And that can't be good, right? We went out that area today and we went past that road because I told Grandpa I wasn't ready to conquer it yet. He says, well, you never have to conquer it. You never have to go down that road again. To me, I have to conquer it. It's just something I have to do. Um, I also have a fear of swimming. I don't look for that to ever be overcome. I mean, when you're as big as a barn, you don't need to be in the whale. That didn't go right. When you're as big as a barn, you don't need to be in the ocean as big as a whale. And I feel like even though I've been doing my weightlifting and doing my workouts, that I'm still big as a barn. So I don't feel confident in my um, self-esteem. I don't feel confident in my looks. And I feel like that me being in a bathing suit is not the place I need to be. Although my niece Mackenzie made these water bombs. And let me tell you something. I've learned something. When we do water things like that, I need to at least put on my tank top so I can get out there during these hot days and be like, okay, now you can soak me because that's exactly what we did. We were throwing these like little water things that she found on Pinterest. Oh, good gravy. Let me tell you, we should have just, I should have at least went in the house and been like, okay, I'm going to put on a tank top and some capris and I'll meet you out there. That, you know, wouldn't matter that it got wet. But anyway, it was fun. It was, and we had fun. It was entertaining. And I saw one of the water bombs today out in the garage, and that reminded me of that. I have a fear of water. Would I like to conquer it? I don't see that ever happening. It's just like I have a fear of when we go over bridges. I'm always afraid that the bridge is going to fall apart and break, and that we're going to land in the water. And there again, I can't swim, you know. And my niece actually posted on Facebook not too long ago this long bridge, and she's like, let's go. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, besides wrestling, what else have you been watching on TV? That's a great question. Um, I have become a huge fan of Married at First Sight on the Lifetime channel. And I watch that as well as the Married in Australia, as well as, you know, they're, they're doing on Married at First Sight. They're getting ready for the new season, season 11 of that, starting next week on next uh, Wednesday. So I've been watching that. And then the TLC channel, Before the 90 Days, I've been watching that. Oh, my land. These, these people met on the Internet, but yet they're taking their time to meet. And when they do meet, they're taking their time to see if it's going to last and all that stuff. I would like to see if some of those couples that said they were going to last, if they actually did last or if they just said that for TV. But I, I would like to see that. Uh, but those are the things I've been watching on TV lately. Oh, good gravy. Number 10, your birthday is coming up. We need all sorts of gift ideas, please. Okay, even though I'm not going to have a party, we're not having a celebration, um, I will give you some gift ideas. A huge gift idea right now, of course, where the car is concerned. I'm freaking out because I know it's $180 for the front brakes and $180 for the back brakes and eventually I'm going to need tires. So gift certificates to you save auto here in Mattoon, wonderful idea. Um, straight talk, I'm getting a new phone coming up hopefully, knock on wood. So I always need straight talk gift cards, preferably the three months, that would be great. Um, I'm aiming, it's funny, when we're younger, we aim at stuff like stuff that, you know, oh, this is the latest toy. Heck, you know, maybe it's the credit card counseling, but I've been looking at it like, okay, you know what? I have Globe Life Insurance coming up. I have, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield that I love so much. 
my insurance. Um, and then, um, of course, you know, there's other ones like, uh, I'll say it in a minute. Um, my magazines that need refilled. I always seem like I'm sending payments to them all the time. eBay gift cards. I cannot say that enough. You know what? Some girls like going to these high price stores. Me, myself, and I, I love to shop online at eBay, which I did a lot during this pandemic. Uh, when my work mom would need historical romances, I went on to eBay, tried to buy it in a lot, a lot most of the time because Goodwill was closed. That's my second favorite place to shop because I love to find these little carousel horses that are not only decorating my room now, but they're decorating the front room. That's kind of like my favorite thing because I love horses and I like to find ways to decorate. I have a couple of them here in my room that I'm staring at right now. You wouldn't even know they came from Goodwill, but they play music and they don't go up and down or anything, but they're just, they're stationary and they're cute. Um, but those kind of things, gift cards, you can never go wrong. Okay. We don't have a Poe folks, so I can't say gift card to Poe folks. Flesheners in Tuscola, Illinois. Oh my land. I'm addicted. Okay. I love their haystacks. Grandma got me started on those and I love eating at their little restaurant there. It's just a wonderful little place. Um, I, Cracker Barrel. It's like our family go-to place. I'm hoping that we'll have my birthday family together and we'll go to Fleshner's. That's where I would like to go. But I had this weird dream last night that we ended up at Cracker Barrel. So we'll just have to see where it plays out. Not saying that Cracker Barrel is not a good place to go. It's just yours truly would like to go to Fleshner's for something different. Okay, well that is looks like all of my questions for Dear Bombshell and I know that we'll have more questions coming up because you all are good at throwing questions my way however I did want to state a couple of things everybody's like going are you going to vote by mail let me answer that for you absolutely uh, the second thing I was asked was um, what's your take about the kids going back to school I believe that if the teachers union don't feel confident in this which they're they don't it's done been said on the news then why are we forcing people to go back to work in an environment that's going to cause more infection more illness and possible death not only to the teachers who are brave for going to work but for the children their families their friends it's just not worth the risk it's too soon and do I believe that masks should be demanded worldwide that was another question that was a bonus question honestly you know you're gonna have your nut cases that think that they don't need to wear a mask Roll the eyes, kids. Roll the eyes. Honestly, if you are that self-centered and egotistical, then honestly, you deserve whatever happens to you. However, if you care about yourself and others around you, why put other people at risk? Be an adult. Don't be a baby. Mask it before you have to be in a casket. Got it? And... Uh, as you all know, I am not the biggest supporter of our dear, beloved, acting president. So anything he usually says, I take the exact opposite of. So there's where we stand on that. So with that being said, stay tuned. Your relationship advice questions are up next. <laughs>